What's up guys, Alan Joven back here. Today we're gonna to be talking about different types of mitts, specifically focus mitts. Focus mitts are great for boxing. A lot of punches, a lot of hand work. They can be used for elbows as well and knees, but they're not designed for that specifically, more so for boxing. Uh, these specifically that I have are the curved focus mitts. They have like a half ball grip inside. Gives you a little something to hold on to to cup your hand. Feels kind of more natural. I like it. It takes a little bit of the, uh, the impact of the punches away from you. Uh, when you're using focus mitts, I like to tell new people, if you've never held focus mitts before, think about an 80-20 type game so if someone is punching they should be going all the way but you're gonna meet them about 20% of the way they're punching 80 percent of the way you're meeting them 20% of the way you're meeting them with resistance if you hold your hands real sloppy like this real floppy and you don't meet them it'll throw your arm back it'll probably hurt your shoulder it'll make the person who you're holding for overextend we don't want that. So meet them with resistance. It's gonna help both of you. Also, you wanna think about when you're holding mitts for the person, that the person is imaginary, imaginarily fighting themselves. So what I mean by that is, if I'm holding mitts for a, a girl who's five feet tall, I wanna adjust the mitts to about five feet tall. That way, she's not punching too far up or too far down. She's fighting a mirror image of herself. If I'm, if I'm holding for a very tall guy, some of these heavyweights that are 6'4", six, 6'5", six, I wanna make that adjustment. I'm six feet tall, I wanna hold a little bit higher. That way, the heavyweight is not punching down. So just know that whoever you're holding mitts for, try to hold them the same level that they would naturally punch parallel to the ground. Second, secondary, don't hold the mitts so wide. You wanna keep them nice and close in. Realistically, if you're punching somebody in the face, you're not gonna be punching across the body. You're gonna be punching down the pipe. So you wanna keep them about shoulder width apart. If, if it's too close, that's just a little unnatural and it puts yourself in danger of getting hit in the face. If you're too wide, that's very unnatural right now. Now they're punching across the body, they're losing power. So, shoulder width apart, make the adjustment of how high you wanna go, meet them about 20% of the way, and lastly, when you're holding mitts, try to pop it up, give them a surprise. Don't just hold here like a zombie and let them do free work, and that's, unless that's a specific thing that you guys are doing, free, free work flow. But if you're calling it out, if you're leading the dance, then I wanna do something like this. One, 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 two. When they see the mitt, they react. That way you're leading the dance and they're working on their reaction skills. It's benefiting both of you. So keep these things in mind when using focus mitts. Uh, focus mitts are a great way to work on your reflexes, uh, your sharpness of them. One last thing, whoever is punching the focus mitts, let them know that they don't need to go all out. It's not a time to, uh, to empty the gas tank in terms of power. Power is for the heavy bags. Focus mitts are more, uh, are more so for sharpness. Uh, working at someone else's speed. It's my rhythm that they have to follow. So I'm making them think outside of the box, work outside of their comfort zone. And it's more about sharpness and reaction rather than power. So it doesn't need to be full power on the focus mitts where they're gonna hurt the hands or hurt you. Speed, sharpness, that's what does the trick with these. Great way to train with these. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, anything else you want me to detail or bring up, leave a comment below and we'll get to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to enjoy the journey.